Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Wait, what is happening? Wait, 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 hold up. No. Greetings, my fellows, and welcome back to Roblox. Huh, that felt weird. Today, I'm here with Raw Nautica. Now, we've already played this one before, multiple times, actually. After the last time I checked it out, you guys will actually let me know that the game is fully completable, and so that's what I want to do today. I want to jump in, and I want to try to see if we can finish the game and really experience all it has to offer. So, let's just jump in. Also, absolutely massive shout out to Shinrai 12. This intro sequence, ah, it doesn't matter how many times I see it, it looks so freaking cool to see it in Roblox. Whoa, I think that's different, actually. The character looks away from the explosion. That is super cool. Dang. And we get knocked out. All right. Okay, here we go. So here's our character, Robin Riley son. Dude, look how freaking cool this looks. Also, it's a very interesting effect. The um, the glass seems to remove all water. Anyway, welcome to 4546C. I just broke my leg jumping down there, lovely. Now let's look what we need to fabricate at first. So a little bit of water and something to eat might be a good idea to start. Let's do that first. Okay, I believe we need bladder fish for water, that makes a lot of sense. There's a bunch of stuff here, what is this? Oh, copper. Okay, might as well take a bit of copper. It's a whole fish. It is a whole fish. Oxygen. Oh, dang, I almost drowned first thing I do in the game. True to life, just like the regular Subnautica. Okay, nice and replenished, all better. Now I think it's time to actually get some equipment. I mean, I reckon the place to start might just be a regular knife. We need titanium and silicone rubber. Okay, I'm not sure about silicone rubber, but I reckon we can get to titanium pretty easy. Um, if I remember right, for silicone rubber, we're gonna need some creep vines. So let's go check those out. Boom, here we go, silicone rubber. Boom, let's go. Nice, we can even do quick slots. Look at that. This is so cool that we can use the storage as well. Like it all works. Okay, I reckon we should repair the life pod because we have everything for the repair tool. Oh. Woohoo, nice, look at that. Okay, we can answer the radio. Dang, is that the actual recording from the game? That is so cool. Okay, now we have a place where we could go. Before we do that, I honestly think we might we might really benefit from having like a vehicle. Also, the radiation suit is probably actually a really good idea. Ah, uh, look at this, we have a beautiful sunset. You know, this game makes me feel kind of like the original Subnautica, where I'm not sure, like there's so many cool things to craft, I don't know what to craft next. Uh, okay. What is that sound? Whoa, no, 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 oh my god! Where the heck did you come from? Oh, I need to run away. I need to run away real quick. Get me the heck out of there, where did he come from, where did he come from, where did he come from? Leave me alone. Huh? Huh? What? Oh, I did not enjoy that in the slightest. That was so freaking mean. It's a massive reaper. Dang, that was terrifying. So there's a slight problem. I need one more fiber mesh, but those are located in the area where the freaking reaper was. And let me tell you, I really do not want to go there. Oh, it's a blood red moon. I really don't want to go there, man. I hear the reaper. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. I need to get away. That is so bad. Get me away from here. Okay, so I can kind of trick him by, by jumping on the water. So if I'm jumping outside of the water, he doesn't come. So I need to stay up here. Why is that reaper so aggressive? Holy crap. Look at that thing. As soon as I'm in the water, oh, it's just swimming for me. Okay, well, this game is traumatizing. But I do have the radiation suit. Might actually be a good idea to get, make an oxygen tank as well if I can. Nice, that makes diving a lot easier, even though I don't really want to go into the water. By the way, guys, we have a bacon plushie in the works. It's something I'm super excited about, and if you want to subscribe to a newsletter so that you can be the first to hear any news about it, the link is down in the description. Please go check it out, it would mean the world to me. Anyways, okay, the lights turn normal again. Does that mean the Reaper is gone? Or at least, not haunting me for now? I think so, I can't hear it anymore. Okay, so that reaper was connected to everything being red. Maybe it was like a like a special event or like a nightmare thing. Okay, let's get the high capacity one. Now I have the uh, high capacity tank as well. Oh, there's an, even an ultra high capacity tank, but I can't unlock that yet. It would be nice to get the scanner so I can get new stuff. And behold, a scanner. Can I just say how blown away I am by the fact that we're doing all of this in Roblox? Now, unfortunately, I don't really have any vehicles. I could build this, though. Before we go properly exploring, I will try to get a vehicle. It seems like that will be very helpful in the future. 
Man, just like in the real game, Riley is hungry and thirsty all the time. Uh-oh, that's not... Maybe I should get inside? Whoa. Yo, what's that bright light over there? And I believe... That's right, we should have enough for the vehicle bay. Let's do this. Ah, just like that. It actually works incredibly well. All right, so we have the sea moth. We're gonna need a ton of stuff for it. All right, well, let's start from the top. It honestly might be pretty nice to make some fins as well, just so I can swim a little faster, because I do feel like I'm a little slow. Okay, just like last time, the last thing we have to hunt for is silver. I do recall finding one somewhere around the area of kelp. So, yeah, that is working. So it's like a gray block. Uh-oh, uh, 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 stuff is turning red again. I really hope that's just the sunset and not the dawn of the Reaper. Nice, three silvers. Let's freaking go. Oh, there's another point we got over there. Interesting. We found a landing location and we will land soon. So it's like a month to reach your location. Oh, man. Is that the sunbeam? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we should have enough for a sea moth. I don't know why it's not letting me build the sea moth. Uh, maybe I am still not in deep enough water? Well, we do have a lot of stuff to go check out, and it doesn't really seem like I'll be able to build the sea moth anytime soon. So let me just hunt a couple of fish. Let's go check these things out. Let's start with this one. Okay, let's scan this. Sea glide part. One out of two, nice. Oh, I hear a reaper. I am not going that way. Goodbye. There's something over here. That's a different biome. It looks like the blood kelp. Uh, okay, that does not fill me with a lot of confidence. I don't really like the blood kelp zone in the regular game either. So this is just downright terrifying. At least it's not the middle of the night. Looks like the uh, part of the wreck of the Aurora, maybe. I should have brought a flashlight. <laughs> Luckily, I have a lot of oxygen because I have the big tank, but there's also the ultra large option. Dang, this life bar got freaking exploded. Oh, nice, we have the ultra high capacity tank. I definitely want that. I mean, since we're already here, I want to make a little trip to the floating island. I believe somebody mentioned the floating island might have the uh, the purple tablet on it, the one we need to access the gun. Ooh, and of course it has the, uh, the grand reef below. So, so, so cool. Feels good to be on land. So how do we get up there? There's a bunch of these rocky paths, which I can Skyrim my way up them. Oh yes, look at that. Purple tablet, baby. So I, I think with the purple tablet, we can go to the mountain island and unlock it. But before we do that, I want to check out all of these Degassi bases. Okay, I can't get inside of this one. Oh, never mind. Can just clip through the wall. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Again, just absolutely mind blown that we're doing all of this in freaking Roblox, man. Shinrai, you're an absolute legend. Okay, what about this one? This one looks a lot newer. We can search the backpack. All right, might as well. Boy, that must be a big backpack. Has a locker here. Okay, I can't put stuff in, but I can rename it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Of course, we have the Aurora, which is another place where we can go. But I reckon right now, the best place we might want to go is the... Uh... Oh, that's dangerous. So water is super deep here, so I'm going to try to deploy the mobile vehicle base. Oh, we can go down there. I'm going to try to deploy it one more time just to see if we can possibly get something out of it. Okay, as it turns out, I was just being an absolute idiot. You just have to click on Seamoth up there. Um, let's make it... Mm, let's kind of make it bacon color. It's like orange and black. Oh, look at this thing go. Oh, and let's freaking go. Oh yeah, this thing is a rapid. Definitely, definitely faster than anything else. And look at this, we have the ultra high capacity tank. With this, I'm probably never drowning. Nice. Oh yeah, look at all that oxygen. Okay, I reckon the best place to go now is the floating island. Oh, that sounds like a reaper. I do not want to mess with that. Oh, let's go from this side. Not messing with a reaper now. Crap, I should have gone during the day. Okay, here we go. Yo, it actually unlocked. Let's freaking go. Oh, nice. I got the cube. I can probably use this here. Ooh, very cool. Okay, let's, let's take the teleporter. Oh, I'm on the floating island. And I have picked up another key, which means I should be able to open this as well. Yes, sir. Oh, and here's the legendary button. Now, it's not going to let me do it yet. Okay, I can't disable it just now, but the place is unlocked, and once I visit the Emperor, I should be able to do stuff with it. There's definitely a Reaper that way. I do not want to tango with it. 
Well, genuinely, I don't really know if there's anything else left to do than just to go down under the island. Uh, I believe we can go that way to visit the Emperor. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to actually build the rocket. If so, that's pretty incredible, but let's go down here first. I have the light on, but it's not doing a whole lot for me. Okay, so we're in the Lost River. This is as far as we got last time. Now I'm much better equipped. Whoa, look at that. Look at these guys, it's the ghost tree with the ghost leviathan eggs. Dang, that's cool. I really like the third person option as well. Reminds me of that one cursed Subnautica modded video. Okay, now we're getting some lava. Oh man, this looks intense. This is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, this is very, very cavernous. It feels like we're going inside of the lava castle. We're a thousand meters deep. Oh, these are the lava lakes for sure. So freaking cool. Okay, so is this the base? Okay, let me get the blue tablet before a dragon shows up. Oh yeah, this place has fallen into all kinds of disrepair. Ooh, big container. Whoa, hello. Oh, look at you. Oh my god, that's the cutest emperor ever. Ah, oh, there's everything here. So we have the eggs. What do we got here? Uh, I was not expecting that. What? Okay. Oh, there's something I can touch here. Oh no, I have to go through the teleporter. Oh, not next to the Reaper. There's something I can touch here. Oh, the button. Get me away from that thing. Ooh, okay, we can press the button. Are we then gonna have to build the rocket? Okay, let's try this out. Huh. Well, that's nice. Oh, I see the rocket outline. Okay, let's go, fellas. This has been quite the adventure. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a swim. Look at the bulb zone on the left. So freaking cool. Alright, I made it to the rocket platform. Not unlock, go to the Aurora and download data. Ah, okay, that explains a lot. Alright, um, quick intermission. Things have happened between the last clip you saw and just now. As you can see, we have a different colored sea moth. And uh, long story short, I basically tried to use the game's save system, left the game for a bit, and a bunch of the stuff I did didn't save, so I basically had to redo a uh, a bunch of progress, but anyways, now we're ready, and we have to go explore the Aurora. I really hope that the Reapers are friendly. Also, maybe I should be doing this during the day? Ooh, okay, I heard a Reaper. Yeah, um, <laughs> nope, doing this during the day. Alright, well, that's looking a little bit nicer. Alright, so the plan right now is to stay away from that thing. I gotta find a way to make sure I don't get eaten. Okay, I have an idea. Maybe if I approach from the very front. Dude, this looks super sick, though. I believe we're in the clear. Okay, we made it on top of the Aurora. No Reaper Bites yet, which is good. Dang, this whole place is freaking exploding. Uh, if I remember right, we have to go down this way. This is so freaking cool. Do you know who ate all the donuts? Ah, oh, that was definitely Greg. Fix that door. Okay, that's cool. What's down here? Very nice. We're making progress, guys. We're making progress. Ooh, <laughs> playing some spooky sounds out here. Okay, but we should be emerging in the prawn suit bay. <laughs> yes, we are. Man, I wish we could scan these. Anyways, let's go up to the captain's quarters. Oh, the best poster in the world. They got it. I could be looting all these backpacks, but I don't really need to. Okay. Let's get in, and we should be able to get the data for the rocket. Okay, well, that was surprisingly smooth. Also, the inside of the Aurora looks freaking awesome, just like the rest of this game. But now let me see if I can successfully get out of here, back to the rocket, and then, like, build it and stuff. All right, editing bacon. Time to speed this up. All right, and we arrive back at the rocket platform. Let's see if we can build it. Whoa, whoa. we sure can. The final ride, saying goodbye to my beautiful pink sea moth. Let's get in and end this incredible experience. Final checks, let's launch. That my hair is uh, very immersive, like it's going right over my eyes. Oh, we're activating everything. This is so cool. Let's do it. Holy crap, we're actually launching. Wait, are we gonna get that piece of space debris that we all know so well? Oh, we are! Holy crap, look at that, this is so cool! Oh no, not the panel! Okay, it missed us this time. Yo! 
This is so cool. We're like reversing, but it still looks so amazing. And that's uh, it. We'll launch towards the face gate. Ah, what is a wave without the ocean? Dang, I love that ending narration. And that is the end of Ronautica, guys. That was absolutely incredible. Massive, massive, massive shout out to the Ronautica dev team. Guys, if any of you are Shinrai, if you're watching this, please reach out to me with any ways that we can support you guys. If that's a Patreon link or whatever else, I'll be more than happy to promote them because this was absolutely amazing. And with that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed too. If you did and there are other similar experiences that you'd like me to check out, please make sure to leave those down in the comments and maybe consider leaving a like, commenting or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. With that, I'm going to wish you all a beautiful rest of today and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.